Hello my friend, uh, in this section we are going to generate thumbnails from video with MMFPEG library. This is the step how we are going to do. Uh, first uh, we will download dependency for generating thumbnail. So that is Fluent FFMPEG library. But to use this library, first we need to download FFMPEG. And after this, we are going to generate thumbnail with video already saved in server. We save the video in the server in last section. And then we are going to save the thumbnail image in node server as we save the video in node server in our last section. And then we are going to send file path of thumbnail image to client. Lastly, we will populate the thumbnail images on screen. So that's what we are going to do today. Now we go back to our text editors. The first we will run our application by typing npm run tab. So go to video upload page in here. So we will just upload video in here and we will populate the thumbnail image in here. So first we come in here and then we will start from here. Uh, we got the response back for the file password video and file name. So, so below the part, we're going to do Axios post and the location will be API video and some nail. We need to put the variable in here and the variable will be this one. So, and then we do the then and response and if the response and data success we will do something and if it failed so we will say fail to make the sum nails so we are going to make this routing first inside a video video route so first we are going to copy and paste in here and the location was the thumbnail so we put the thumbnail in here so we delete the unnecessary parts in here uh, as i said in here so we need to use app fluent app, app mpeg library to generate the thumbnail so we are going to download the bureau install app, app mpeg first on mac so if you use the window so if you come in here so you can just type how to download FFMPG on window and then click installing FFMPG this one and then you can follow this step to download FFMPG first so if you are using the Mac you can just turn on the terminal and then you can just type Buru install FFMPEG. That's all for downloading FFMPEG. I already downloaded it, so I'm going to skip this part. And then after that, we'll do npm install fluent FFMPEG to download this dependency. So we go back over to our text editor. And then first, I'm going to kill the application and clear and npm install fluent mpeg and save this directory has to be inside the server so we already download it so now we need to import it the app mpeg require fluent app mpeg so bring it in here so to know how to use app mpeg for thumbnail so we go to app mpeg github so we came in here node fluent app mpeg so in here i'm going to scroll down to find how to use this library there are so many documents in here and we need to use this part so if you see in here i'm going to explain it briefly so if we are going to screenshot for the video like count the four we will do screenshot four times so we will have a first thumbnail if we say it's the four in here and then further is the where that thumbnail will be saved so that thumbnail will be saved in the path to output and then the, we will get the file name in here uh, if everything is done we can do something in here so we are going to bring this one in here we just want to take three thumbnail and then uh, we want to change the 
path thumbnail the it, it will be uploads and some nails in our last sections uh if we see in here we save the video in upload folder so we need to make one more folder inside the upload folder named some nails so some nail will be saved inside in here so after finishing uh, generating some nail we want to return response and json success true we are sending our message to client and just json format and i also want to send a file pass we can also videos duration by using this fmpeg so i also want to send that information file duration and so we need to get this one and this one so to get these two so we are going to use the app app mpeg and app app prove so we didn't download this one manually but when we download app app mpeg this is included inside app app mpeg so we can use it this one automatically so first we are going to put that video information in here request the body so if you in here we can just put the file pass and put the file pass and then we will do the some function callback error and meta data so console dir meta data and console log meta data format and duration to get the duration first i'm going to set some variable in here let file pass ah. and i will bring this one in here some file pass will be string and let file duration will be string so i'm going to put this one in here and metadata and format duration will be file duration and we can get the file names in here so we can get the some file path in here and we will say upload because the it will be saved in uh, inside upload folder and then inside the thumbnail folder so upload and some nails and after that we will add the file name so file names then index zero so we want to get only first the file among the three files we took the screenshots if you want to you can send all the three thumbnail to the client but i just want to send only one thumbnail to the client so we already got the file duration in here and we put that in here and fi some file pass in here so put it in here so this is all for uh, if we come in here generate thumbnail with video saved in server and then save thumbnail image in node server so next thing we need to do is the send file pass and file duration and success signal into the client so we're going to do that right now in here uh, we want to put the data we get from the server inside the state so if we come up uh, we want to make the duration state and then some name state so first to use if you state duration so initial state will be string and you state some nail this will be the string so set duration in here and set some nail in here and then we put response data and if we come in here so we will use the some file path name response data and some file path and then file duration so file duration so now we got the data for the video and then thumbnail in our client so we are going to populate this data on screen so if we scroll down so in here 
so we are going to comment out this part so i already made it so if we have a thumbnail so we will show this one so localhost 5000 and thumbnail so i'm going to save this one and then come back to our application and i'm going to upload the video to see whether it's going to work out really well or not so i'm going to upload this video maybe we got some errors so that's why we couldn't have that one uh, actually we didn't turn on our application so i'm going to turn on our application again npm run dev so i i turn on our application again i'm going to remove all the log in here and i'm going to upload the video again space i still got the error so, so i got the really wrong error message inside our server so i found the problem there was i didn't change this part so i brought this code from in here so i should have changed this part into our code but i forgot to change it so i need to change this one into this one uh, i'm sorry this one so i'm going to do it again so first i go back to our application and i will upload it oh <laughs> i got the thumbnail back well but <laughs> i think i really need to change the style for this thumbnail uh, actually it was not a styling problem so when we made the thumbnail we didn't configure the, which size of thumbnail we are going to make uh, to configure the size we come back in here this mpf mp is part and inside the screenshots so we need to say size and i want to say 300 20 multiply 240 and then i also want to change the file name in here some nail and b and png uh, this b means so input base name means file name without extension so if you want to know about this one you can go to this page and you can see in here the file names option so i'm going to save it again and then i will go back to our application and i'm going to just refresh the page to remove that thumbnail and i'm going to make the one more thumbnail so now we have a right size of thumbnail and if we go to our editor and if we click in thumbnail further you can see we have a three thumbnail for one video and three thumbnail for one video so thank you for watching this video again and see you in our next section thank you